Now, the big story that we're following for you tonight, drug overdoses continue to be a concern on BART trains. According to BART's daily crime log, there have been, well, there has been an overdose every day uh, for just the last five days. Ron Forrest, Rob Nesbitt spoke with a BART spokesperson about these overdoses. He has more now on how this crisis intervention specialists are now being trained to respond. Narcan was able to revive three of the five overdoses on BART trains, but since March 28th, two people have died because of the narcotics in their system. Five overdoses in five days. On March 28th, a woman died on a BART train at the 16th Street Station in San Francisco. A man was found dead on a train Sunday at the Daly City Station in possession of narcotics. There were also overdoses reported by BART on March 29th, 30th, and early Monday morning. BART spokesperson Chris Filippi says Narcan was a life-saving tool used to reverse those overdoses. We've had Narcan as part of BART PD since 2019. It certainly proves to be a valuable tool, and it is a common occurrence for officers to come across folks in our system, and this is true for our non-sworn staff, too, to come across riders in our system who are in crisis, uh, who are struggling with drugs. What Filippi means by non-sworn staff are the 20 crisis intervention specialists with the BART Police Department. They don't carry guns, but instead use their background in social work to help people along 130 miles of track and at 50 stations. And they'll see them once, twice, six times, ten times, and over that experience they're building a connection. They're opening a door to where that person in crisis will eventually be open for help, but it takes time. In January, BART Police Chief Ed Alvarez announced the department's strategic homeless action plan to address homelessness and mental health issues. They're coming to BART because it's safe for them. They could be here for a few hours, they could be out of the elements, especially with all the rain that we've had, all the rain and wind. They can escape all of that for a few hours. They come here. What we want to do is we want to help bring the services to them. The Lippi says BART's goal is to have a seat at the table, working with city and county governments that have social services equipped to help unhoused populations. This is a, a crisis that's larger than BART, and it's one that we can't just arrest our way out of. We've learned that certainly, I think, over the last few years, that we need a more long-term strategy. The Lippi says the biggest challenge as a transit agency is that BART is not eligible for state funding that goes towards helping solve homelessness. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Cron 4 News.